All right, folks, strap in for this one. On this episode, we're diving into the chaos that ensues when you manage to piss off the Klitschko brothers. Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko, these guys have been through it all, open hostility, outright threats, you name it. And let me tell you, these brothers don't take crap from anyone. Today, we're breaking down six epic moments where Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko swiftly put some bold dudes in their place for disrespecting the champs. It's a wild ride, my friends. October 2010, Vitaly Klitschko going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the notorious Shannon Briggs. Oh, he's gonna retire. This is gonna be his last fight. I'm gonna hurt him really bad. I'm gonna hurt him all over his body. He won't fight again. Briggs had a nickname that spoke volumes, the cannon, and let me tell you, his fists lived up to that name. Before facing off against our American hero, Briggs had knocked out a whopping 45 opponents out of 58 fights. This guy was a wrecking ball in the ring. But it wasn't just his knockouts that got him attention, oh no, it was his flashy, sometimes downright scandalous behavior that really turned heads. I'm the best ever! Don't touch yet! Take it easy, daddy. Take it easy, daddy. Take it easy, daddy. You know I don't play that, you know me. You know me. Time is over. No, no, it's not. Time is over. You want to make it over? No, it's not. Like I said. Briggs had a way of getting under the skin of everyone he faced in the ring, and the Klitschko brothers were no exception. Even the younger Klitschko brother didn't escape his antics. Now, Vitaly, he handled all of Briggs' trash talk with surprising calmness, not stooping to his level of provocation. But when it came time to throw down, Vitaly unleashed hell on Briggs for disrespecting him and his brother. He laid into Briggs for a full 12 rounds. By the end of the fight, Vitali had landed over 300 precise hits on Briggs, while Briggs managed a measly 73 of his own. It was a beatdown of epic proportions. And after the final bell, Briggs found himself in the ICU with a laundry list of injuries, a broken nose, a fractured orbital bone, and a torn bicep in his left arm. Vitaly Klitschko wasn't messing around when it came to defending his honor. I want the Klitschko's heads, plain and simple. No doubt. You and your brother. And I'm going to have them. This year, I'm going to have both of them. All right, fight fans, let's dive into the action that went down on July 2nd. 2011, when Vladimir Klitschko squared off against the fiery Brit, David Hay. Now, these guys had been talking smack since way back in 2008 when Hay became the undisputed heavyweight champ. He had his sights set on none other than the Klitschko brothers, but it was all bark and no bite. 
Despite all the hype, the fight just didn't materialize. Meanwhile, Klitschko kept dominating the competition, and Hay made his own waves among the big boys. He grabbed his first championship in the new weight class by taking down the giant Russian, Nikolai Valuev, in sensational fashion. Fans knew it was inevitable that one of the Klitschko brothers would have to deal with this loudmouth. The build-up for this fight really kicked into high gear in 2009 when Hay stirred up controversy by posting a picture online showing the Klitschkos decapitated, with him standing over them. Later, he even showed up to a press conference sporting a t-shirt with that same image. The hype around this matchup was off the charts, and Hay tried every trick in the book to get under his opponent's skin. But all his antics fell flat. More than 16 minutes past. In the end, Vladimir completely dominated the bout, keeping Hay at bay. Even Hay's supposed lightning fast speed, hyped up by all the experts, posed no threat to the Ukrainian powerhouse. Round after round, Vladimir methodically took apart his opponent. And when the final bell rang, it was clear who the victor was. As he said, knockouts of the last 10 fights coming in. And headed toward an almost certain decision victory. Vladimir Klitschko secured a unanimous decision victory, leaving no doubt in anyone's mind who the true champ was. You knock me out? No, I'm not going to knock you out. You want uh, the point decision? I'm not going to go points, but I'm going to physically come and take it off you. From round one, to round 12 or whatever, but you're going down on the eighth round anyway. Physically, mentally, I'm gonna take it off you. You know that. You can see that in your eyes. You know that. On February 18th, 2012, Vitaly Klitschko squared off against one of the craziest boxers of our time, Derek Chisora. Now, Chisora did something that no other boxer had the guts to do before. He started by slapping the older brother and ended up spitting in the face of the younger one. Chisora wasn't exactly known for his way with words, but even then, he managed to get under the skin of the Ukrainian with some harsh trash talk. WBC heavyweight championship of the world is underway. Vitaly Klitschko through there, Chisora missed with them after doing what he was doing yesterday, even. For Vitaly, this fight was personal. Everyone expected him to teach Chisora a lesson, and let me tell you, he didn't disappoint. From his time with the, the Universum State, to lost and uh, Vitaly Klitschko beat Koris. He's not, he's not catching much. The voice of Dean Powell in that corner for Chisora saying, come on. Our hero schooled the unruly student, leaving him no chance. Points where Chisora suffered at the hands of Lennox. Chisora tried his damnedest to reach Klitschko's chin, but let's face it, Vitali was towering over him. When he's coming forward, it's me. Look as though there's any at their own agenda. Takes it well and keeps coming. To say when he gets his weight in, then he's okay. Our hero landed a barrage of precise blows that would have put any other boxer to sleep. 79-73. And it doesn't seem to be no more sting. And also, going to be interesting to see what the reaction of the two men. I'm told that Tim Witherspoon against Tony Tubbs. 
And get this, after the fight, it was revealed that Klitschko fought with an injured hand. Right to... a... But even with that handicap, the Ukrainian defended his family's honor and secured the victory with a unanimous decision from the judges. Now, that's what I call a true warrior. On September 8, 2012, Vitaly Klitschko went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Manuel Char, a German-Syrian powerhouse, for the coveted WBC belt. Char, boasting an undefeated record and a mean streak to match, tried to psych out Vitaly at every turn with his fierce stares and bold claims. It's well known that Vitaly Klitschko has taken part in 53 matches and he's famous for his patience. But I'm only 27 years old and I have a lion's heart. I will succeed. I'm determined to win. We'll see on the day who will win. I think the one with the bravest heart will win the match. But let me tell you, all the mind games in the world couldn't save him from the beating that was coming his way. Also, hinten selber durchzukommen, sich da stehen. Das sind die Momente, wo er entweder was machen muss. Richtig Maß nimmt. Aber er muss selber auch was tun. Deckung ist vorhanden, aber so kann man natürlich. Die letzten 10 Sekunden, da kann noch mal kurzer Haken durch. Das so sein kann, wenn er so steht, als da. In the second round, Vitali unleashed a thunderous right hand that sent Char crashing to the canvas for the first time in his career. And from that moment on, it was like watching a lion toy with its prey. By the third round, Vitali had dialed up the intensity, turning the ring into his own personal playground. But it was in the fourth round that things really took a turn. A vicious left hook from Vitali split Char's face open like a ripe melon, and blood poured out like a faucet. Jetzt hat er langsam diesen Rocken. Das Blut ins Auge läuft. Jetzt kommt er durch. Manuel Charles, Mann. Keine Abentreffer, die Klitschko kassiert. At that point, the referee had seen enough carnage and rightfully called off the fight. Now, Char might have been unhappy with the decision, but hey, that's the fight game for you. Sometimes, you've just got to roll with the punches. Smash that chicken. Those were the exact words and other insults hurled at Vladimir Klitschko from the corner of his Russian opponent, Alexander Pavikin, throughout the entire bout that took place on October 5th, 2013. <laughs> As it turned out, the loudmouth was Pavikin's brother Vladimir. He allowed himself unacceptable outbursts towards Vladimir Klitschko. No, Klitschko. I mean, I mean, that Klitschko должен включить. Пока не удается, можно было прицельно сработать на то, чтобы противника измотать. Nevertheless, Vladimir Klitschko professionally executed his game plan, putting not only the cocky Russian boxer but also his entire team in their place. 
He secured the victory, maintaining his status as the world heavyweight champion according to four versions and the ring magazine. The last one in our list is the beating of the bold Bulgarian boxer, Kubrat Pulov, nicknamed the Cobra. Now, Pulov had been itching for this fight for ages, but every time it was scheduled, something seemed to get in the way. He accused Klitschko of dodging him, but Vladimir wasn't having any of it. After recovering from his injuries, he sat down at the negotiating table, and finally, the stage was set for November 15, 2014. Pulov strutted in with all the confidence in the world, boasting he'd knock out the younger Klitschko. Well, they were predicting an all-out war, expecting Pulov's relentless style to give Klitschko a run for his money. And let me tell you, the opening rounds were intense. Pulov landed some solid shots, even managing to shake up Klitschko with a sharp jab. But that only fueled the fire in Klitschko's belly. And a left hook. Here's the first knockdown. Two left with four. Four tower shots, two knockdowns. With Klitschko's head. Another right. In response, Klitschko unleashed a barrage of punishment, sending Pulov to the canvas not once, not twice, but thrice. And even when Pulov hit the mat, he kept trying to goad Klitschko into a brawl. Momentarily wobbled Pulev again. When he can do that, there's the Klitschko right hand. Both guys boxing, and one guy able to land that kind of shot. But Klitschko wasn't there to play games. In the end, it was a thunderous left hook from our hero that put an emphatic end to this showdown. Another victory for the Klitschko brothers, and another reminder to never underestimate the power of Ukrainian boxing. That wraps up our rundown of six instances where the Klitschko brothers put the smackdown on the bold challengers. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. 